Uh, first of all, uh, you know, a lot of credit to Ohio State. It's a good football team. I think two good football teams played tonight. Uh, obviously, 1-1, one, one, and uh, we'll sit where we're at. Uh, it's a, it was a game of swings, a game of big plays. Proud of the way our kids fought, kept competing throughout the whole game. Uh, at the end of the day, we gave them too many layups. Uh, didn't make them shoot enough jump shots and three-pointers. Can't do it. They took advantage of it. And again, that's speaking with complete uh, credit to Ohio State for making the plays when they were given the opportunity. Uh, but we have to be able to make it difficult. Uh, that's what that's what a, a great team will do. And if you're going to be a great team, you got to make those special plays and special moments. So, uh, but I am proud of the way the kids fought. They never gave up. They found themselves a way to scratch and get back into the football game, and ultimately had a, a shot to get a drive to put it into overtime at the end. Uh, but it didn't take place. So uh, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, we'll get to the bye week and move on in the tough Big Ten schedule ahead of us. Uh, you know, challenged them and ask them, the coaches, myself, the kids, challenge them in a way of real simple is what I just said. You know, you, you got to, you, you can't, you can't just give them easy plays. You can't, I don't care if it's a miscommunication. I don't care if it's a, you know, a simple miss, clean, easy tackle, uh, a blown coverage or blown gap. It doesn't matter. You can't give those things up again if you're going to come into a place like this and play a very talented football team, you have to make those plays. And it's, it's hard enough to stop them. It's hard enough to score. It's hard enough to play good special teams when you execute the right way, let alone if you make mistakes. And uh, we'll have to clean that up. Was that uh, You know, I don't know that for sure. Um, as I communicated, I don't think it was miscommunication. But, you know, that's it's, that wasn't just one. I mean, the same thing happened on the other side. So, you know, we give up the, the, uh, the other touchdown for the uh, fairly long pass there. So both those need to be cleaned up. And, I, necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily say it was a miscommunication, but I can say this, as, as a coach, I failed the kid because I didn't get him in the proper spot. So that's all, look at myself first. I'm not looking at any of the coach. I'm not looking at the kid. I'll look at myself. So away we go. I'll get it better. Here you talked about eliminating the mystery penalties. I mean, tonight, so many false starts. What was, do you think, the issue for that for you guys tonight? 110,000 or however many, 100,000 are out there. It's a hard place to play. They're vocal. They're loud. Uh, and we worked on it as good as you can. Uh, have, uh, I don't know what else we would do to, uh, you know, be be cleaner in that area, and um, you know they they're loud. It's not acceptable, but it's loud. Now that it's over, was there anything special? <laughs> hey, I don't know you're. Uh, um, it, it, it was good to see Urban. You know, I mean, it really was. It was good. It's good to see him and. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity to come and compete at this level and, and be on an opposite sideline of him. And um, But it was, you know, I'll remember coming to Ohio State for the first time and playing a game, not a real fond memory in my mind, but uh, uh, it, was, it was definitely good to see Urban, and I guess I'll see him again. Uh, we won't be playing each other for a couple of years unless we get to the championship game, so maybe we'll see each other. Gary, what did you see on Connor's face mask? It looked like on the replay that they didn't, didn't have a little Yeah. I did not see that on the jumbotron. I don't think it came back across. Um, you know, there's mixed mixed comments from what came from upstairs. So they didn't they didn't believe it was a face mask, but I, I never saw it. So who knows? Did you get an explanation on the illegal formation on the fumble? Yeah, apparently we weren't up close enough on the line of scrimmage. It's another huge play in the football game. It's inexcusable. So. You know, I think we jumped too on the play, so we could have thrown either flag, in my opinion. So, didn't get reset. That's poor execution. Again, bad coaching by me. What is the, the level of frustration or just the reaction? Whenever, you all think the game went on the road and by penalties or just very slight missteps, they get the ball back and have all the momentum. Well, that's the game of football. You know, again, you go back to two good teams, and you're going to look back in a highly contested game, and there's going to be 15 or 20 plays that probably could swing it. To, to your side or swing it to their side. And um, when it's unforced errors, and like I say, layups, again, I use the term, that's when it gets extremely frustrating. If it's a team that, you know, they just make they make the plays and put the ball in the right spot or block it up the right way, that's a little bit easier to deal with. And um, all those plays tonight weren't like that, but it just seemed there was too many of them. So it, it, this is a definitely a frustrating loss. And, you know, we're sitting, we're sitting at, uh, you know, However you want to look at it, in my mind, we're three, one, and one. But uh, everybody else's mind, we're three and two. So, but 
um, that's what I think we are, and we'll move on. So, in my mind, you know, 2013 Badgers are three one and one. Then what they do next? So uh, we'll be frustrated. We'll uh, uh, be irritated, and uh, we'll move on. Uh, he, he, I thought he played well. Uh, you know, it's nice to get the protection when the protection broke down in the back end. We're gonna have to get better at that from a protection standpoint. Play action, he was good. I thought he got rid of the ball well, made good decisions for the most part. Um, I can't really speak for the for the uh, the one pick. I don't know if there was a, a route that was broken off, but Joel is Joel is improving. Gordon, Melvin, I think I think he'll be okay. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jared is an unbelievable competitor. He uh, he he's he's tough to cover in man coverage. He's tough to deal with in zone coverage. I don't know if you it goes unnoticed, but it doesn't to my eyes. Uh, his intent on every run play to block, it's it's incredible. He is a, you know, he was he got dinged up there pretty good at the end, and there was no taking the young man out of the game. So he's. Uh, terrific competitor, uh, makes big plays for us, and I expect that to continue as we move through this season. Uh, you know, they – well, they're, they're, they're good. You know, that's one thing they did to slow it down. They, I thought they were very physical. They fit, fit well within the run. The safeties came up and, and did a nice job of getting involved in the, in the, uh, in the run game um, early in the plays. And – you know, again, that shows a, a good defense. Now, that's not every snap. We got out a few times and had some success running the ball. Um, not as much as we've had in the past, but that, it's not going to be like that every single week. So um, I thought they tackled pretty well as a defense. And um, we'll look back at the film and, and see what we can do to uh, better ourselves. Well, they're, you know, the same thing I just told them when I was in the locker room is, the the bottom line is is there's no magic fairy dust and you know you're not gonna uh, everybody's in it this time so uh, you know these guys these guys are in it and where they end up this time it matters uh, where Ohio State is so at the end they're they're all ready to roll and uh, they're in position if they obviously run the table to to go this year so something's got to happen we don't completely control our own destiny. But, uh, you know, if we take care of business one game at a time, one game at a time, I like our chances. It'll come down to us some, some time, some way out there, there will be another big game for us to play to put ourselves in a position to do some special things with this season. What those are, I don't know. But um, these kids will come back. They'll be ready to roll. Coach, it seemed like you spent the entire night covering the Bristol Bears by himself. Mm -hmm. You talked a little bit about field position. Yeah. Their punter did a great job. You know, he absolutely pinned us, uh, like you said, uh, four or five times. Uh, you know, then at the end he has to boom one, and he booms one. Uh, I, th I thought he was uh, th that young man did a, a tremendous job and uh, kicked the ball well and, and got us backed up. And that's uh, that's difficult now. That's difficult to get out of there, and it's hard to go 95 yards or 90 yards or 96 yards on a really good defense. So their punting game was uh, very good. Anything else for coach? Thanks, guys.